Now we are going to see one leap year is equal to 366 days. February it has 29 days. Generally one year is equal to 365 days. So February month it has 28 days. So if 29 days for what February month we can consider as a what leap year. Generally February has 28 days. If 29 days come for February we can consider that is a leap year. So example 2020 is a leap year. So how could you say it is a leap year? Because February has 29 days. 2020 it is going to divided by 4. You can get what? 5, 0, 20. Okay. Then after that you have to bring down 2. So after that compare with 2 and 4. What you what do you know this? 2 is less than 4. So you can't divide. So you have to put 0 again in the question place. Then you have to bring down 0. It is called as 2, 0, 20 again. 20 is greater than 4. It is now what? Now it can, what? it is divided. It is, uh, sorry, 20. Now it is going to divide by 4. So it is what? It is, uh, it is eligible to divide. That is what? So it is enough to divide. Otherwise, it is not eligible. It is enough to divide. So again, well, you must use the fourth table. That is 5, 4 is a 20. So 20 minus 20, you can get what? 0. I will repeat once again. 2020 is the example. This number is going to divide by 4. You can get what? First, you consider 2 and 4. 2 is small, smaller than 4. 2020, this number is a what? Dividend and 4 is a divisor. So 2 is not what? It is enough to divide. 2 is not enough to divide by 4. So you can take the next number that is 0, 2, 0, 20. 20 is going to divide by 4. That means you must use the fourth table. 4, 5 is a 20. So you have to put 20 again. So 20 minus 20 you can get 0. So you must cancel the 0. You have to bring down 2. And 2 and 4 you have to compare to what? Less than 4. So it is not enough to divide. So you, what you are going to do? So you have to bring down the 0. So before that you have to put 0 on the quotient place. After that you have to bring down the 0. So what you are going to do? So 20 again. So it is enough to divide. 20 is going to divide by 4. You can get 4, 5 is a 20. So the quotient is 5 not 5. The remainder is 0. So if the remainder is 0, it can consider as what? Leap year. If any number has come, Okay, what is the year present here? That is 2022. It now it is 2022. 2022 is going to divide by 4. If you get the remainder is 0, it is a leap year. And also, simply you can simply you can understand if the month that is if February month has 29 days. If February month has 29 days, you have to consider what? This is a leap year. Otherwise, it has not a leap year. So, 2020 is the example of leap year. 2022, you have to divide by 4 again. So, 5 4 is a 20. So, 20 minus, already I have told you the proper division. So, 20 minus 20, you can get 0. You should not consider. So, bring down 2. And 2 and 4, again you have to, what compare? 2 is less than 4. It's not enough to divide. Again, you have to bring down 2 here. So, now it is 22. So, you have to put, what, 0 in the question place. 22 is going to divide by 4. Compare with 22 and 4. 22 is greater than 4. So you must use the table. 22 is going to divide by 4. You must use the fourth table again. 5 4 is a 20. Again you have to subtract 2 minus 0 2. So 2 is a reminder. I told you if the actually reminder will 0. Remind if the reminder is 0, this year is a leap year. But the reminder is not a 0. Right? It is not a leap year. And also what it has how many days 28 days for this feb for this february month for february uh, that means 2022 february month it has only how many days 28 days so that you should not consider it is a leap year so 29 days so 29 days if february month has 29 days you have to consider it is a leap year so 2022 that means this year is not a leap year this year is not a leap year is this year is a leap year no this is not a leap year because simply you can understand because february month has only 28 days 
if february month has 28 days it is not a leap year if february month has 29 days it is a leap year i think so understand the basic very clearly now we have to move on to the sums okay and also january has 31 days and february has 20 <coughs> january 28 days and march has 31 days and april has 30 days may has 31 days june has 30 days july that is sixth month that is 31 days that is again i'll tell you january first month 31 days second month february 28 days generally but only leap year means 29 days and third month march 31 days fourth month april that is 30 days and fifth month may 31 days sixth month june 30 days seventh month july 31 days eighth month august 31 days ninth month september 30 days and 10th month october 31 days and 11th month november 30 days and 12th month that is december that is 31 days now we have to move on to the exercise exercise 10 b list the month with 30 days what are the months april look at this what are the ones has 30 days that is april and what june next april next june and september then november so these are the month month has 30 days april and june september and november look at the answer april june september and november so this month has what 30 days i'll repeat list the months with 30 days means you have to what write the 30 days months so what are the months has 30 days that is april has 30 days june has 30 days and september has 30 days and number has 30 days so the answers are exactly right next list the months with 31 days what are the months has 31 days look at the months 31 days january then march next may next july next august next october next december so these are the month has 31 days look at this answer january march july august october and december 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all together 6 months here 1 2 3 4 so january and march then what january march may so i didn't write may you have to consider may also but this month also 31 days that means it is not six months it is seven months okay so january march may july that is january march may july then august then october December count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so January March July August October December and May so if you want to write you have to write May here okay you just rub it okay so together 7 months so here 30 months April June September and November that is this only 4 months as 30 days <coughs> give the months that is 6 months after Six month after so you have to find the ex exact month is given july so after six month so what is the month you have to find okay july has given after july after july that means after six month over july what is the month will come okay that means july so you just say july means what july just left over july just left out july so august september october november december okay how many months that is six month after only no so july so so july is give the month that is six month after august september october november december but only five months is given but they asked they given july so it's not right so july it's not a right i think so july means you should not consider july so after 
July only you have to consider. So give the month that is six month after means August, September, October, November, December. So including July means you have to get only six month but they said six month after. So this is not correct. I think so it is June. So June means you should not consider what that particular month July, August, September, October, November, December. So June means you have to write December. December is a right answer for this question. Next question March. So you should not consider that particular month. The given month you should not consider. After that you have to count next six months. Okay. That means what is the month is given March. Just left March, April, May, June, July, August. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That means September is the right answer. I'll repeat once again. June means you should not consider June. After June only you have to consider. That means July, August, September, October, November and December. Here March you should not consider March. After March only you have to consider. That means April, May, June, July, August, September. September is the right answer. Give the month that is 5 months before. So before the before what 5 months? September has given you have to consider before 5 months. So September is a month. So before 5 months means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, you should not consider September, August, July, June, May and April. The answer is April. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. April is the answer. Okay, next what? June. Before June. Okay, you should not consider June. Where is June? You should not consider June before 5 months. May, April, March, Feb and January. So, you should not consider what? June, you should not consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, January is the right answer. Okay. Now, I think so you understand the basic. Fill in the blanks 9 days after January 11. So, January 11, after 9 days, what is the day will come? So, January 11, you should not consider January 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this answer is January 20. So you simply do one thing. You must add with 11 and 9. So 11 add with 9. You just 9 plus 1, 10. And the carryover is go to the top. 1 plus 1, 2. The answer is January 20. That is also you can do. This is addition. Okay. Next. 4 days after April what four days after four days after april 29 you should not consider april 29 that means april has 30 days that means april 30 and what may 1 may 2 may 3 the answer is may 3 okay may 3rd also you can write okay then three days before june 10 three days before june 10 Okay, that means you should not consider June 10. So, you have to consider that is June 10 you should not consider. But they said 3 days before. That means that is subtraction. This is after means addition. Before means subtraction. This is addition. Sorry, after means after means adding and what? Before means subtraction. Before means subtraction. Okay. So, before June 10, June 10, you should not consider. So, June 9, June 8 and June 7. Answer is June 7. June 7. Okay. That's the right answer. Next. 8 days before July 22. 8 days before July 22. Before means I told you subtraction. So, July 22, you should not consider. So, before July 22, you have to what subtract 8 days that means july you start with july 21 july 21 july 20 july 19 then july 17 then july 16 july uh, 15 july 14 and july 13 okay that means 22 minus 8 you have to consider 22 minus 8 what will get 12 minus 8 you can get 4 and 4 the answer is july 14 okay here june 10 
mean 10 minus 3 you can get what 7 10 minus 3 you will write 10 minus 3 you can get what 7 answer is correct so 29 means you must add uh, what 4 days so 29 you should not consider 30 1 2 3 May 3rd is right answer January 11 11 plus 9 you must add you can get 20 so this is the right answer for the question so uh, give the months that is six month after so first i've written july after that i change june means you have to uh, what uh, get december months after six okay after six months over you can get the month of december so june you just whatever the month is given you should not consider you have to what add the next month that means june you should not consider july august september october november december is exactly right so in such case i have written july so uh, i just want to give the one more example because i have written july means i have written already july so i just want to give the proper explanation for july also okay so july means you should not consider the july month you must count after the that means you must count from the next month itself but up to six months that is what you have to count so you should not consider july you have to count with sorry you have to count from august september october november december and january so january after six month what you will reach january month so this is the right answer for the question